Hi, my name is Lauren Salerzo, and I'm a training specialist here at Shift4 Payments, the parent company of Shift4. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to talk to you about all of the amazing features that our product offers for customizing your store. Now, this isn't something that you have to do in order to get your store up and running. Our customization tools allow you to edit all aspects of your store. However, we have over 100 templates that are ready to go in just a click of a button as well. This is an incredible feature that we offer because it allows you to set up a unique experience for your shoppers and helps your brand and business to stand out from the competition. I'm going to show you some tips, tricks, and how-tos for really perfecting the look of your store. So let's go ahead and get started. Now if you've already opened up your Shift 4 shop, this might look a little familiar to you. So this is our wizard uh, that gets you started with your store. So typically on the first page you're going to put in some basic store information and you're going to be able to select the type of business that your store is. Now depending on the type of business that you put in, it's going to pick out three predetermined themes for you. But don't worry, you can change your mind later on. These are just predetermined themes that we have that go along with the different uh, types of stores that we typically see, but you can edit these to your heart's desire. This is just a quick way to get you up and running. Now when it comes to actually finding the theme editing tools, this is where you can get really creative with your store. So in order to find these tools, we're going to go to that left hand navigation menu on that left side of your screen and we're going to go to the settings and we're going to select design and then themes and styles. Now this is where you can get really creative with your store and edit lots of different aspects. So the first thing that we're going to talk about today is actually changing the theme of your store. So you can see right in the middle of the screen there we have a blue button that says change theme. So when you select that, it's going to take you to the part of your store where you can browse all of the different themes that we offer and find the one that's going to work best for your store. Now once you've actually chosen a theme for your store, you can then further edit and change things like your logo, we can edit colors, fonts, and all different parts of our store. So the first thing that we're going to take a look at adding today is actually adding that logo to your store. So we're going to go to that settings menu, but this time we're going to go to general and then we're going to select the store settings option. Now this is where you can edit your specific store and merchant information. So this is where you're going to put things like your store name, your store slogan, you can edit your address and all of those really specific details about your store. Now right in about the middle of the screen we also have an option to add in our store logo and you can simply do that by just selecting that browse button that's located right next to the store logo field. Now once you've selected browse it's actually going to pull up our file uploader and it's going to look a little something like this. So you can see the back of my settings screen has now been grayed out and I have this file uploader window pane that pulls up on the right hand side of my screen. Now from this file uploader you can go ahead and upload the file or the logo that you'd like to use. We're going to select that and then just select upload files and now that logo is going to be added to your store and it's going to show up in any of those predetermined places that your logo has been selected for your theme. All right, so now that we've added our logo in, let's talk a little bit about actually editing our theme further and changing things like our colors and our fonts. So going back to that settings menu and then selecting design and themes and styles, we can further customize the theme that we've chosen by selecting that customize theme button um, that's located up near the top of the page. Now once you select that customized theme button, it's going to actually pull up a, like a mock version of your store here. And then you can see I have a new navigation menu on that left hand side with all of the different options that I can edit right here on the screen. So you can actually see what those changes are going to look like in your store in real time. Now none of these changes are actually going to save for your store until you're ready to hit that publish button. So once you've made those appropriate changes, you're happy with everything looks, then we're going to want to hit that publish button and save those changes to your store.
Now we also offer HTML and support. So again, when it comes to customizing your stores, the possibilities are truly endless. You can really build your layout and fine tune your content with our flexible drag and drop HTML builder. You can create layout text images and images right on your home page, your blog, or other content pages. So you can really build your website for exactly how you envision it. We also have lots of resources and how-to sections on how to use this tool um, in our knowledge base. So if you'd like some further detail, that's also a great resource that you can check out as well. So now that we've actually talked about customizing the look of our store, let's talk about customizing a different feature of our store. So you can also customize your store language and your system, meting, system messages. Um, so Shift 4 Shop allows you to customize your store from either specific buttons to really your entire website. So the first thing that we're going to take a look at is changing our store language. So setting your store language allows you to really customize even further. So you can change your language settings in your store by once again going to that settings menu. And we're going to go again to that design and then select theme and styles. Now once we're here, we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom of the page and you can see we have a couple of different options down there at the bottom. So for the purpose of what we're looking at today, we're going to select that middle one and we're going to select that store language edit button. So once you've selected that edit button, your store language is pulled up and then you can edit further from here. Now in terms of editing, you have a couple of different options. You can choose to edit either a specific word or phrase of an action button by just typing in directly to that text box. So for example, if you want to say things like add to basket instead of add to cart, it's a really simple way to do that. Now if you want to change the actual language of your entire store, now you can certainly go ahead and type in the text boxes or you also have the option to do a bulk export or import of your languages as well. And this will make it a little bit easier to just change all of those settings in one go. So once you've selected that and you're ready to say we're going to import a full language onto our store, we're going to select that button and it's going to take us to this screen. Now for the purpose of this demonstration, we're going to look at importing. So we're going to go to that import on the right hand side of our screen. Now if you already have those language settings in a template and you're ready to go, you can just simply browse on your device and upload that file. Now we also have the option of using the sample file and the sample file is going to be a template that's downloaded as an Excel file onto your device. This template can help you quickly and efficiently make your language changes and then you can use that file uploader to then once again import those back into your Shift 4 shop. Now when you actually download the file, this is what it's going to look like. So we can see on the left hand side in column A, that's going to be where the button is and that's telling your Shift 4 shop what the button is that's actually going to be changing. Now in the right hand side in column B, this is where you're actually going to change that language to reflect the language that you want it to be shown on your site. So this is a really simple way to make a lot of changes very quickly and very efficiently on your page. Now, in addition to your store language, we also have the option of changing your system messages. So once again, we're going to go to that same portion of our settings menu. So once again, we're going to go to that design, themes and styles. We're then going to scroll down to the bottom of the page. And now on the right hand side, we have an option that says system messages. So similarly, like we did with the store language, we're going to select edit and that's going to pull up our system messages settings. Now once again we can also use that easy export import button so especially again if you're looking to change the entire language it's a really easy way to do that and you would just follow those same steps. Now if you just want to change again the specific wording or the phrasing that you're using you can also just type in directly to those text boxes um, in order to change a specific message that you're seeing or you want your customers to see uh, when they're in encountering your page. Now these are just a few editing tools that we have. Uh, there's another one that we offer that's called our homepage carousel. And this feature allows you to highlight a specific promotion or event that might be going on at your store. So to use the carousel, this is a really great way that you can grab your customer's attention. So you can add up to six images to showcase your store. And as mentioned, you can, you know, 
draw their attention, whether there's a promotion or a sale, or maybe there's an event or something that you've got going on. So you can also customize the speed and type of transition from image to image as well. So this is my sample store that I have pulled up here and you can see this image that I just highlighted with the yellow box is my homepage carousel. So this is an image that I created and uploaded on here. So that way when people are coming to my store, I'm trying to draw their attention to this new men's arrivals. Now I've created this image, I'm drawing people's attention to this part of my store. With this image and this homepage carousel, I can also create a link. So that means I can link that part of my store with this image. So if someone uh, like a shopper is coming to my store, they might be interested in looking at those new men's arrivals. So they can actually just click on this image and it'll be taking them exactly to that part of my website or my store uh, that has those new men's arrivals. So you've got a lot of options here in terms of what you can do and how you can help your customers. So if this is something you're interested in, the first thing we're going to need to do is actually add the carousel to your store first. So in order to add that carousel, once you're logged into your dashboard, we're actually going to go to the very last option on that left hand navigation menu. And that menu option is going to be called modules. So in the module section, you can explore lots of different features and add-ons for your store. So I would take some time, take a look at the different options that are in there, but just for the purpose of what we're talking about today, I'm going to search for that home page carousel. So you can see I started to type it in in my text box, and it's the second option that pulled up here. So now I'm going to make sure that it's that blue checkbox in the bottom right hand corner is selected as enabled. And then I'm going to select that settings option so I can actually go in there and start editing that home page carousel. So once I select my settings, it's going to bring me to this screen and this is where I can customize the different parts of my carousel. So we can change and edit things like the delay, the transition, and you can really customize this to be exactly how you want it to be. Um, you can add your images here, you can create those URL links and do lots of things to make sure that carousel is really grabbing your shoppers attention when they come to your store. Now another way that we can edit and customize our store is by using our home page builder. So if you have a specific design idea for your store, you can absolutely do this in our home page builder function. So in order to use this editor, you're going to once again go to that settings menu on the left hand side. We're going to select design and then themes and styles. Now the last option that we have at the bottom of the page when we scroll all the way down is that home page edit button. So once you select edit, it's going to bring you to this screen. Now this is where you can actually edit and launch that page editor, but you also have an option up here at the top that has a more with a drop down menu. Now if you select the more option, that's actually going to show you the source code for your store. So especially if you have a lot of knowledge and you prefer to edit in that way, you absolutely have that option. Now using our home page editor is really easy. So for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to select that launch page editor. And then it's going to take me to a screen that looks like this. So now this looks like my store. I can actually make some of the changes here directly on my home page. And I can see what those changes look like in real time. So we can see on the screen that I have here, it's kind of grayed out in the background. So those are the options that I don't have the ability to edit right in this page. So anything that's highlighted are the options that I'm going to be able to edit at this current time. Now on the screen, you can see I have a few different options for texts and tools for editing. So I have this uh, bar at the top. Now this is where I can add in and format texts from the font to the colors to the size, all different kinds of things. At the bottom, this is where I can choose transitions. This is also where I have that advanced setting so I can really get creative. In the upper right hand corner, I can also add and edit images. Now once I've made any changes here and I'm happy with, those, what, with what those look like, I can go ahead and hit that save button in the upper right hand corner and then I'm ready to go. So those are just some of the tools that we have when it comes to editing and customizing your theme, your homepage, and really making your Shift 4 shop stand out. So thank you so much for joining me today, and the countdown is really on, so hopefully you feel ready to customize your store.
When it comes to the competition, it's really not even close. So we aren't kidding when we say that Shift 4 Shop is really rocket fuel for your business, pun intended there. Uh, so thank you so much for joining me today. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions um, or feel free to use our knowledge base articles uh, if you have some further questions or need some more guidance as well. Again, my name is Lauren. Thank you for joining me today and have a great rest of your day.